In this video, we're going to look at stationary points. So what we need to do first of all is to work out the first derivative for a question like this. So we're going to differentiate this. So we're going to say dy by dx. To differentiate it term by term, so we get two times bring the three down. X reduce the power by one, so we get two minus five times bring the power down, which is two x to the power of one. And then four x differentiated is simply four, so we get minus four, because it's minus four x. And then the positive constant, or any constant in differentiation always becomes zero when you differentiate it. So now we get six x squared minus 10 x minus four. Now, turning points or otherwise known as stationary points always occur when dy by dx equals zero. So now that we set dy by dx equals to zero, we can then say six x squared minus 10 x minus four equals to zero. And we can use our calculator to solve that. So we're going to then press the menu button, alpha minus, it's a polynomial, it's a quadratic, so we choose option two, type in the coefficients, so six minus 10 and minus four. So that will give me two and minus a third. So we can say x equals two, and x equals minus a third. But because we want the coordinates of c, we need to also work out the y coordinates. So we're going to substitute y in into the y equation. So it's two times two cubed minus five times two squared minus four times two plus two. So get a calculator out, type it straight in. So two bracket two cubed minus five times two squared minus four times two plus two and that gives you minus ten. So now that we've got that, we can write down the first coordinate, which is going to be two and minus 10. Then now we can substitute minus a third in. So it's two times minus a third cubed minus five times minus a third squared minus four times minus a third and then we put plus two and then we can just go back to our calculation here and just replace everything with minus a third And that gives me 73 over 27. So I get a y coordinate of 73 over 27. I say my final coordinate here would be minus a third and 73 over 20. Seven. Now the next part says to find d2y by dx squared. This is known as the second derivative. 
So what we do, we take the first derivative dy by dx and differentiate it again. So now we get d2y over dx squared. That's going to be equal to, keep the 6 as it is, bring the 2 down. So we get x minus 10x differentiated is simply minus 10. Minus 4 goes to 0. So we get 12x minus 10. That's the second derivative. Then part D says, hence or otherwise determine the nature of the turning points of C. There are some basic rules that we need to do in order to calculate the nature of these maximum or minimum points or stationary points as they're called. So what we do is we set dy by dx equals zero and solve for x. Then from dy by dx equals zero, use the x from here, use the x we sold and substitute this x into the second derivative d2y by dx squared d2y by dx squared once we've done that once you've done that once you've taken x from dy by dx equals zero and substituted it into d2y by dx squared then what we'd say is the following. If d2y by dx squared is negative, we say therefore we have a maximum. If d2y by dx squared is positive, therefore we have a minimum. So the context in our question dty over dx squared is 12x minus 10. And when we solved dy by dx equals zero, we found two values of x, which were x equals two and x equals minus the third, respectively. So what we're going to do, we're going to substitute each one separately. So when x equals two, what happens? Then d2y over dx squared so we do 12 times 2 minus 10. So that gives me 24 minus 10, which is 14. Now 14 is a positive value, so I'll say greater than 0. So we say since d2y by dx squared is positive, we can say therefore it implies it's a minimum point. So we can say that 2 and minus 10 is a minimum. Now when we substitute the second value in, minus a third, we will get d2y over dx squared. And that's going to be 12 times minus a third minus 10. That gives me minus 4 minus 10 is minus 14. Now this is negative. So we say therefore it implies it's a maximum. So we can say that the point minus a third So we can now say that the point 73 over 27 is now a maximum point.